divorced. Beheaded. Died. Divorced. Beheaded. Survived. And tonight, the six ex-wives of Henry VIII in their rendition of the Six Block Tango are... Night! He had it coming, he had it coming, he only had himself to blame. how people have these little habits that get you down? Like Henry. Henry liked to sleep around and I was like, okay. So he comes home this one day and I'm really irritated. And there's Henry lying to my face. There's lipstick on his ruff, and I was like, okay! Suddenly he wants to annul our marriage, move some side chicken to my palace, and move me into a convent? Now, I don't think I looked that good in a wimple. So I was like, no way. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Henry VIII in 1522. He told me he was single and we hit it off right away. So we started living together. He'd send me a letter, I'd send a reply. I'll think about it maybe, XO baby. And then I found out. Single, he told me? Single my ass! Not only was he married, oh no, he had six wives. One of those monarchs, you know. So that night before he came home from court, I flirted with a guy or three, as usual. I guess some guys just really like my head. <laughs> now I was living in the castle with my husband.
I just had a beautiful baby boy. Henry and I were so excited for his first words, his first steps, but I never saw any of that. You're the only one I ever loved, I said. And I kept on saying, you're the only one I ever loved. And yet, he remarried. He remarried six times. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. Henry saw my portrait and he was like, yeah. And then he saw me and he was like, nah. It's the usual story, isn't it? The savvy, educated, young princess... ...deemed repulsive by a wheezing, wrinkled old man. 24 years, her senior rejection. Rejection from a king. Yeah, but what happened? <laughs> Not pretty. My music teacher Mannix and I had some strong dynamics. And this courtier Francis had a duty to fulfill. Now both times all they wanted to do was touch me, love me, please me, squeeze me, one right after the other. So this one guy, the supreme head of the Church of England, made me a lady-in-waiting and swore without me he wouldn't know what to do. That's Henry VIII, saying the only thing he wants to do is... Well... I was in such a state of shock, I completely blacked out. I couldn't even remember that courtier Thomas. It wasn't until later that I even knew that I lost my head. <laughs> nice neck, by the way. I loved Thomas more than I could possibly say. He was the love of my life. Sensitive, a baron. But when Henry says it's you, then it's you.
He didn't give me a choice. He didn't give any of us a choice. Not Bolin, not Aragon, not Seymour, Cleves, or Howard. We don't need your love. History saw him as alive, but we saw him dead. The Royal Bum 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 The Royal Bum 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 He had it coming, 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 he had it Just really Six liked my times. head. <laughs> Dear Tom, not pretty. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded, survived.